I think the red flag laws will give us uh, a, a safer state and a better state, and, and that's why I'm for it. Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller would like the state to join 19 others and the District of Columbia in passing so-called red flag laws. Those laws allow law enforcement or family members to get a court order to temporarily take away someone's guns if the person is considered a risk. The classic situation maybe is in the family where, where someone um, does appear to be dangerous, does have, does have, does have guns, uh, the rest of the other family members can, can get protection in that situation. Governor Reynolds was asked about red flag laws earlier this week. She responded that Illinois had one and it didn't work and that other solutions should be considered. No matter how many laws or rules you have on the books, if somebody has evil in their heart, you can't handle that. But she did not reject it entirely and said she would take a look at everything. Miller says the incentive of federal dollars for states that pass red flag laws should not be the only reason to act. I think the red flag laws are, are just such fundamental common sense in terms of gun safety that, w that we don't need the federal money does, as an inducement. But, you know, if federal money's there, we, we, sh we, sh we should take it and make it available and, and, and use it in, a, in an effective way. And to illustrate the differing views, Iowa's two U.S. Senators, both Republicans, voted on opposite sides of the federal gun legislation. Stacey?